Hi Taurus, this is your monthly video for May 2018. This month is going to be super intensive for us Taurians. Um, we have Uranus coming into Taurus on May 15th. That is massive. That's a seven year transit. Um, if you even transit, I don't know if that's a transit, but it will be in our sign for seven years. So what does that mean? What does it mean to have Uranus coming into Taurus? Taurus, as you know, is a stable sign, a calm sign, an earth sign. Uranus is uh, the ruler of Aquarius. Aquarius is square Taurus. So, you know, sometimes the two of those signs can get a little sticky. Um, Uranus is the only planet that um, rotates on its own axis. It's completely different and unique and uh, than all other planets in the in the zodiac. So one of the things that'll happen during this seven year period is a lot of the stabilizing structures will be completely abolished by the out of the box thinking of Uranus. So the new moon is in Taurus on the very same day and actually Mars will go into retrograde in Aquarius on that day as well. So May 15th is a significant date for any Taurus person right now. And this includes Taurus rising and Taurus moon as well. So let's just check out what the cards say. Um, let's use the cards in conjunction with the astrological transits. So we're going to ask the guides to surround this reading and give us clear guidance for the month of May for Taurus for the month of May. 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 Just going to go through the whole month. I'm going to skip ahead here. Um, this card, when I was shuffling the deck off camera, this card popped out. Uh, it's the Change Your Life card. It's the Tower card. So that pretty much sums up Uranus entering into Taurus. Just everything is going to crumble. Um, and this is not to sound pessimistic. The Tower card um, is a good omen that anything that was not serving you will fall apart whether you want to participate in that um, or not so when this card shows up and it is showing up and it did show up even before I did the video it's a sign that things are gonna change whether you like it or not and I know that that sucks because I'm a Taurus and I like things to stay the same I don't like change. I'm, it's a, Taurus is a fixed sign, you know. But the other thing about this card showing up, this change your life card, or in traditional tarot, the tower card, when it shows up, it's also, you know, no, you don't have a choice. The change is happening whether you like it or not. But it's generally for, um, you know, for you to embrace the opportunities that come with change. So there's definitely going to be some significant change for you. Um, I see, you know, at the beginning of the month, there is, uh, there, there you are thinking and contemplating about your entire life. And I feel like that Scorpio full moon at the end of April, you really, really, uh, you know, started to think about what you needed to let go of, what needed to fall off, what um, you had to release. Um, and maybe some dark things came up for you during that um, April 29th Scorpio full moon. 
but you know you might have realized you know um, some of the things you had been dreaming about or believing in were false you know maybe you started to think about you know that you needed to bring more balance into your life that that you're feeling stagnant and stuck that there's more to that than just oh I'm just I'm just tired I didn't get enough sleep last night like there might be other factors involved in that um, there's definitely a you know that the two cards that come up the ten of swords upside down just you're not really accepting some things have ended um, things you know have come to an end um, maybe in this case not as abruptly as you know as the like maybe it's just the thought like this should end but you're not really kind of like fully embracing it I guess so I just wanna um, dig a little deeper here and check out so just keep in mind the new moon Uranus coming into Taurus, new moon in Taurus, Uranus coming into Taurus, and then Mars retrograding in, in Aquarius, all happening on the 15th. And I really feel like, you know, we're going to have some major epiphanies around that time. It might be the day before or day after. For some of you, I feel like it might even happen on the 13th of May. Um, and... Um, yeah, so for some of you, I feel like it's going to happen on the 15th of May, or 13th of May as well, or even the 17th of May. So it doesn't have to be the exact date. Uh, you will have to be more logical, Taurus, at this time. Less emotions, uh, more logical um, to sort of solve some of these issues, underlying issues that are creating this feeling of stagnation. Just dropped a card. And there's a um, there's some lack of trust happening for you as well. And this pertains to uh, a relationship that you're in, a partnership that you're in. Um, so I do feel like on May 25th where Jupiter and Neptune harmonize there's there's more hope for your relationship than you may have anticipated there was um, for some of you for sure and I'm just gonna double check on that about relationships for Taurus relationships for Taurus in the month of May you definitely have some decisions you have to make that are blocking your progress, especially pertaining to career as well. Um, there's a, yeah, there's some definite heavy, heavy stuff going on there in terms of relationships for sure. Um, the one good thing that you do have is, is a good community of friends around you. Um, and you do have a strong uh, career to fall back on uh, or even just ideas for a business or something like that. So there is a full moon coming up in Sagittarius on May 29th and I'm just going to switch back to this deck to see how that affects, affects you. In terms of um, partnerships and career after the 25th of May, really good time to make some partnerships, um, do some kind of a networking or something like that. I feel like, you know, that's very auspicious in terms of money and finances for you. Um, so let's just look at the end of the month for Taurus. End of the month for Taurus. Many of you are kind of at the edge of your seat is what they're showing me, like very nervous and anxious about what's going to happen um, because there's a lot of hype around Uranus coming into your sign. And I feel like 
Just like you know how when people freak out about Mercury retrograde, all the planets are working for us. When you know that, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, you know, Uranus, <laughs> everybody's kind of afraid of Uranus because there's so much, you know, there's this element of surprise. It's, it's always changing. It's never the same. Um, so there's definitely going to be more surprises over the next seven years that are going to directly affect everyone, but particularly you, Taurus. Um, and because you don't really like the element of surprise so much, it can be, it could, could bring out, you know, the, the fearful aspect of yourself. But again, this is for your, you to develop and, you know, gain an advantage over your own ways. So you'll grow in strength from this. Tra uh, transiting Uranus. So let's see the end of the month in Taurus. End of the month in Taurus. So yeah. So this full moon in Sagittarius is actually going to be probably the highlight of your month. Um, you're going to feel very hopeful then. You're going to feel like even just dreaming and casting wishes during that time. If you don't feel that way, maybe just go with that. You know, sit out with, you know, your journal and, you know, look up at the stars and make some wishes during this time. Um, for the next seven years, like what you would like to see happen, you know, with all these changes, because I can assure you many of the changes that are going to happen are going to benefit you in the long run. Um, you just might have needed that little push to kind of do what you intuitively already knew to do. Um, you do have some decisions you need to make that that being... Um, particularly around, you know, making changes and accepting changes. Like, I just have to show, show you this. This is hilar hilarious and sad at the same time. So see all these purple cards? So I haven't pulled very many cards, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine major arcana cards uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I pulled 21 cards out of a 78 card, 78 card deck. And nine of them are major arcanas. So that pretty much sums up. Major arcanas are major events. Big, significant changes. Anytime you see a major arcana, it signifies a significant, massive change. And you have nine of them in my spread of 21. That is intense. So, and we have a lot of fire happening here. We have a lot of emotions, a lot of water happening here. Not a whole lot of uh, processing, not a whole lot of intellect or air. So, you know, I am, gonna, I am getting the feeling that these changes are going to trigger a lot of emotions in you. Um, they're going to trigger you know, some fire, um, which is good. Taurus needs some fire to get moving, you know, definitely. So fear not, Taurians. I'm not afraid. I don't want you to be afraid. I think that it's important to see this as an opportunity um, for all of us because it definitely is. Yes, things are going to change. No, you don't have control over what changes, but you have on some level wanted these changes. You just couldn't see your way out of it. <clears throat> so Uranus is coming to say, hey, yeah, you know, there's another option for you. You didn't notice it because you were so fixed on this option. But actually, there's all these options over here. And you know what? I'm taking you over here to figure it out. That's the kind of um, energy Uranus is going to bring for us. And that's not necessarily bad. It's just not going to be comfortable for a little bit. Um, and I just want to leave you with, 
you know, um, you know, I want to leave you with this card, the Ten of Swords. It doesn't look pretty, um, but it came up in the other deck too. So I'm going to talk about it um, as we exit. That's a really positive card in my opinion because it signifies the end of difficulties. And I know and you know the last few years have been pretty rough for Tauruses. So that card is, you know, showing you, yeah, it's been rough. You know, you got ten swords in your back. There's no getting up from that. But you know what? There's a new beginning and it's about to happen and it's happening starting on May 15th. So leading up to that time, Taurus, if you could collect yourself, really pull yourself in all of your strength, um, make a plan, whatever you need to do to feel stable within, do it. This is a time to learn how to meditate, to learn how to go inward so that whatever the hell goes on out there, you won't give a shit because you're so solid, it doesn't even matter. You know, it really won't matter um, because you're going to be fine. We're strong. We're resilient. We're Taurus. You know, there's nothing really to fear. Uh, yeah, so take care. If you need a reading, personal readings, I do them by Skype, in person, or over the phone. Information's below. Check out my weekly videos and topic videos, and I will talk to you soon.